All right, compasitas. Today on the channel, we're gonna be making some tacos. And uh, we're gonna be making some al pastor tacos and some carne asada tacos from some leftover ribeyes that I've got going on. And we'll be using this pork shoulder to uh, make our shing dig. We've got some groceries here. All this was, uh, I think it was like 20 bucks. Yeah. 2021. 20, got pineapples, got pineapple juice, onions, the rest of the stuff I had. Got your chote paste, brown chili powder, and uh, oregano. Paper plates, so we don't make a ton of mess today. And let's get started. Cut all the uh, vegetables and onions and stuff first before we cut this bad boy up, so we don't make a contaminate the board number one and busting out three, four cutting boards. I'm not just not trying to do that right now. So. Go ahead and cut up some of these vegetables. I'm no chef, but uh, just show you guys how I cut mine. Cut the sides. I do that little bit so I can pull it that way. Cut that side and leave a little bit so I can pull that way. And go ahead and pull all the rest of that off. Like so. I know some people say that's a lot of waste, but I feel like this outer layer never really cooks right. So. And we're just gonna cut these into slices like so. You can also do this so it helps you hold it flat. I think that's enough, honestly. Make that one more slice. Save that for later. <clears throat> Next, we'll go ahead and cut up some limes. Onions got me crying. This bad boy right here. I don't know why the flash came on. Okay. Maybe six that. Maybe six that. Let's go ahead and That's that. Let's dip this off to the side over here. So now we have our vegetables. Bam. And let's start making the paste for this. All right, so this is vinegar. Um, you could use white vinegar, but I like to use uh, rice vinegar, garlic, 
So. Gives it an extra little kick. Shake that out, make sure we get some garlics in there. And something like that. One more chugga chugga in there. That should be good on that. Go ahead and give that a little whisk. Make sure all that, that chote breaks down. That's what gives it to that nice red marinade there. Make sure you break all that down. Okay, so that's that. We'll start cutting the pork. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to cut a damn pork, so I'll show you guys that, but I'll show you guys stacking it up. I don't have a rotisserie, so we do it in the oven, but it comes out just as good. Got that soaked for about two hours. Minimum. And that pineapple, the enzymes in the pineapple is gonna break down that protein. Melt in your mouth right there. Next we got the setup. Let's take one of these bad boys. And I like to use this center cord, this one I like to cut them out. Oh yeah, like so. Stack our meat up on top. Probably throw one of these bad boys on right there. Yep. Get that little lime juice. That's gonna be good to go. Carne asada is pretty basic. I just like to keep it uh, nice and simple. Of course, we'll be using ribeyes, King's favorite, and some defrosted. These were just vacuum sealed not too long ago, so they're not too anodized, oxidized, shall I say, anodized. Thinking about car stuff right now. That in there. That in there. Okay, bust down that last line we got. Don't do that first. If you do that first, you'll start cooking it first. Let's get a little bit of cilantro and onions. Pre-cut already. A little bit of olive oil. and spray on this olive oil right here. You don't want to put any salts and peppers in there because it's, if you guys ever been to carne asada places and it's dry, it's because they put pre-salt, pre-seasonings in there and they salt them up before. And what happens is the salt starts to pull the moisture out, kind of like a dry brine. But in this case, we're not trying to dry brine anything. So we'll just get this, uh, all broken down. They're cut really thin ribeyes on the whole bar deli slicer that I have. Use this for Philly cheesesteak meat, but figured, hey, let's make some tacos. What else better to make tacos with than ribeyes? So get that nice incorporated, let us do its thing. And we are not cooking this on fire, we're cooking this on the Blackstone today, so. Got a late night, sun has fo football game. Kids don't get out too late, so really don't have uh, time to be getting the charcoal up and going and stuff like that. Plus, the Blackstone man makes tacos like no other. Okay, that's that. Go ahead and cover that bad boy up. This is basic. Basic stuff right here, man. Anybody could do that. All right, we're back. Live and in action. So we're gonna take our 
kind of just want to put a little bit of it on there. So it kind of hangs off a little. Back it up like that, like so. Oh yeah. Make sure all that's covered up. So one of these bad boys back on there. It's probably all the pineapple I used today, and I don't like too much pineapple on mine. So show you guys when it's all done. Juices. All right, we're back. Let's go ahead and put a little oil on this bad boy. Thing real quick. And then we're gonna
You don't want to smother the black stone either. You don't want to want to smother any pot pan or pot filter. Once you get it situated, you don't move it. You just let that be. Let that become one. Okay, hi to the camera. You gotta say, come right here. Hi. Closer, right here. Hi. How many on, baby? Two? Two? Mm -hmm. Some on the cheese and everything in the fridge. Okay. No. Oh. And I need to turn it off now. Shower? Mm -hmm. okay. Battery was really taking out with like